Welcome back troglodytes to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. Today we're going to learn about The Last of Us Part 2 Signature Taylor Acoustic Guitar. There's likely two different types of people tuning into this episode. The people that love this video game and the people that just watch guitar videos. So let's catch up the guitar guys here. The Last of Us Part 2 is an action adventure game on the PlayStation 4. It takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. There's like a zombie type fungus taking over people. It's not necessarily my type of game, but any game that gets people excited about guitars I can be thankful for. It's kind of received mixed reviews. There's some people that love it and then there's a whole wave of people that hate it, mainly because of the storyline and how they ended it and things like that. Many feel it wasn't as good as the first one. But within this game, you see this exact guitar. This is a one-for-one -one replica of what was used in that. The character Joel gives this to the character Ellie and he teaches her how to play guitar. And there's even parts in the game where you can play the guitar in like a mini game. So there's people posting YouTube videos of them playing like popular songs. So it's kind of interesting in that aspect. But this game brought new popularity to Pearl Jam's song Future Days. And it also paid tribute to AHA's Take On Me song. So that aspect, the game gets my respect because it's teaching people about good music. So if you're interested in learning more about the game, I'll let you play it or watch the cutscenes on YouTube. But now let's learn about the guitar itself. So once again, this is a one-for-one -one recreation of what was in the game, and it's based on the model Taylor 314CE, part of their Grand Auditorium series of guitars. We'll go over all the nitty-gritty details on the bench, but I'm sure you guys are very curious, how does this one differ from the base model? So let's go ahead and take a look here. The first thing that's ever apparent is your finish. You get a vintage tobacco sunburst finish on here, whereas the regular ones, they only come in natural. You've got a faux tortoiseshell pickguard on here instead of the black one. Instead of predominantly black binding, you also get white binding. And the only other thing that I'm seeing that's different here is your rosette design. As far as the necks go, they get different inlays, this one getting that really cool Luna Moth inlay, then the face of the headstock loses its fancy inlay, and the Taylor logo is made out of Ivoroid. So other than that, this appears to just be a very basic Taylor guitar here, and you could only buy these on the PlayStation Store for $2,299. Now, it's kind of funny for me reading some of the forum posts, people freaking out about how expensive it is. However, they were only asking a $300 premium for these limited edition guitars, because regular 314 CEs are only $1,999. So is it worth $300 for a slightly fancier finish, depending on your tastes, and this little moth inlay? From a cost standpoint, no, but I think from the limited edition factor and this being the exact guitar in the game, I really don't think it was that atrociously priced. I think the main sticker shock came from the teenagers that play the game and they've never heard of a $2,000 guitar before. So if you're within the guitar community, it's not that bad of a price. But if you're new to guitars, yeah, they cost this much. And if you didn't quite have enough money for one of these, they did release a cheaper one that was based on a Taylor GS Mini. Those were $699, whereas the base model was $499. So that's a $200 premium. And basically the only difference there is once again, you get a special finish. It's actually Ellie's arm tattoo on the face of the guitar. I honestly don't really care for that one this much, but despite the price premium, they all sold out pretty much instantly. You had to pre-order these months in advance and they ran out of those pre-orders rather quickly. So it's kind of a limited edition semi-what collectible guitar in the future that maybe people will be seeking out. But they were PlayStation Store exclusives. You're gonna go to Guitar Center and pick this thing up. So first impressions, you know, I've always liked Taylor guitars the best when it comes to acoustics. I've played many Gibsons, I've played many Martins. It always comes down to Taylors for me, so I'm glad the video game designers agreed with me on that. It's a beautiful guitar. It sounds really nice and vibrant and lively. <laughs> It's been a while since I've had a high-end acoustic on the show. So let's go ahead and throw it on the workbench, take an individual look at its parts and specs, and then we'll get to a playing demo. All right, inside the 314CE. So this has the double bound rosette, which is the fancy term for these little rings around the sound hole. It looks like that's inlaid with their ivoroid material. And we got our faux tortoise shell pick guard right there. And as far as the bridge goes, you can see the Taylor Expression System 2 right here. You can use these controls on the side. If I remember correctly, this is the volume. Then these control your bass and treble frequencies. 
I thought it sounded pretty good just recorded directly into my audio interface. As far as electric acoustic tones, I was pretty well blown away with this one. But inside the sound hole, I'm really sad to see that there is no branding of The Last of Us 2 anywhere on this guitar. I mean, you would have to know that this little moth guy right here represents that. It would have been nice if they would have put something on here or gave it a limited edition serial number besides just the LTD ending. But this particular tailor uses their V-Class bracing. I'll put a photo of it up here. I don't know a lot about acoustic guitars. I'm mainly an electric guitar guy. It kind of bugs me that those sound posts are going crooked and you can see that it kind of throws me off, but hey, it sounds good. Well, we'll just take a quick look around the body here. It's a multiply binding. And it also appears to be made of that ivoroid material. You can tell that because it has those lines running down through it. But besides the beautiful vintage tobacco sunburst finish here, it is a gloss finish. So you've got the gloss on the front, you've got it on the back as well as the sides, but the neck, as we'll learn here in a minute, it's more of like a semi-gloss. It's more close to a satin one. But this is a Sitka spruce top, and then they're using sapili wood on the sides. So that's kind of like mahogany in a way. A lot of Epiphone electric guitars will use that instead of mahogany. But this stuff looks pretty good, especially on the back. I know you guys saw it in the unboxing portion, but that's a very active back. That's cool looking. You definitely could not tell that from the PlayStation photos. As far as the neck goes, it's mahogany, and then you have an ebony fretboard with 20 frets. And the inlays are also made of that ivoroid material. I think that's kind of a letdown. I'd rather have Mother of Pearl or something a little bit fancier. But here's a nice up-close look at that moth. Once again, you can see those lines running through that ivoroid material but it's utilizing a 25 and a half inch scale length. And it's a 20 inch body according to the spec sheet. And here's what the face of the headstock looks like without the truss rod cover on it. It just reads Taylor. And the truss rod cover itself is made out of plastic. I think it would have been a nice touch had it been real wood. It looks like about a 48 millimeter nut width, which increases to about 52. Moving on to the back here, once again, beautiful sapele back and sides. The neck itself is actually in three pieces. You've got a scarf joint right there that kind of joins it to this portion. You've got a strap button on the side of the heel, then one on the bottom. That's also where you plug it in and you can swap out your battery by using this. Then you've got your main portion of this. This is a super slender neck. Honestly, it's not the most comfortable in my opinion. I would prefer a little bit more beef to it. And then you can see your scarf joint right there. And then it has Taylor tuners on here. And as our last spec, it weighs 4 pounds, 10.8 ounces.
All right, so what are my final thoughts and opinions on this thing? It's a really nice acoustic guitar. I mean, that's probably just how most of these 314 CEs are. Uh, they don't seem to hold value very well in the used market. You can pick them up used around a thousand bucks. So if nothing else from this video, you fell in love with this guitar model, you can pick them up pretty cheaply on the used market. The only thing that I'm left kind of holding a grudge against Taylor for on this one is our inlay right here. It's clearly Mother of Pearl in that cutscene. They should have done Mother of Pearl. They really cheaped out on this Ivoroid stuff. But if that's the only bad thing I can say, I think they did okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they would have branded it somewhere The Last of Us 2 because somebody's gonna find this in like 20, 30 years and be like, what's going on with this moth inlay? Because at least the cheaper one, they put it on the headstock. I think it looks absolutely atrocious up there, but they should have at least put it somewhere on the guitar, mainly on that little card in here, I think. So for someone who loves this game, yes, it's a must have, but everyone else, yeah, just save your money. Buy yourself a used tailor. <laughs> but let's go ahead and check this thing out under black light before before we say goodbye. As far as the black light test goes, nothing too much going on here. It does glow a green color though. You can see there's like a little bit of plastic left on the pick guard. That's why it's glowing a little bit more. You know, this is mainly to see if there's been breaks, cracks, or repairs on the guitars. But seeing as it's brand new at this point in time, yeah, I really don't see that we would have any of that. Let's go ahead and check out the case. If you purchase one of these brand new, it came in one of their deluxe brown hard shell cases. Unfortunately, I mean, they should have done something, at least special on the case, put The Last of Us 2 on it, but nothing. Absolutely nothing besides that special inlay. But Taylor cases, they're usually pretty nice. They've got decent padding around all sides. You've got a double neck rest here. You got a little bit of paperwork. I mean, there's not even any paperwork that tells you it's a The Last of Us thing. So that tells you, Taylor must not have been that big of a fan of this guitar. <laughs> but the case itself is made in Mexico there, but the guitar is USA made. Troglodytes, I hope you enjoyed learning about The Last of Us 2 signature acoustic guitar by Taylor. This is not for sale. This is actually a new guitar day purchase. Somebody in the UK wanted this guitar, but, but the PlayStation Store would only ship to North America, so I kind of helped them out with a forwarding service on this one. So thank you Troglodytes for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.